already unloaded and ready to go. There she is. So we will be running super late model tonight. They won't be running limited. So we'll be running super late model. They do have a little bit of a bonus for us limited guys uh, for the top finish in three. So just hoping we can put a good night together and make a little bit of money. Uh, we're just, we're, the main thing tonight is just a test. Got a couple of things we're trying out. Of course, we're trying out a carburetor. We got our brand new one on there. So hopefully we don't have anything issues there. Um, but just trying a couple more th things. We've changed some stuff as far as setup and even tires. We've been on American Racers all year. So um, it's, all a, it's all a testing game tonight. But we're gonna go get signed in and get ready for racing action tonight. ago 
it wasn't last week, so we actually ran it this past week. Um, he changed the front end a little bit to make it just a little bit better, and he felt like it was better at Smoky Mountain. Um, but he's maybe thinking that maybe some of the instability. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. It's a really weird, like he said, he, when he gets in the corner, it's just like a, he just can't feel where it's, where he needs to, where it's at. It's just, he's just losing the steering. Um, so he talked to Rick and Rick said that was something strange. He's never seen that happen. He's never seen, he said if that is what's going on, then it could have broke a tooth on the rat. Um, but what he said he's never seen that happen. So Lord knows if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to us because that's just how we roll around here. Um, but he's changing the front end back to the way we've had it in the past to see if that gets some of that out. Um, and even if it is a rack, it will make it a little bit more stable. So we're hoping that's gonna fix a little bit of the problem. Maybe it'll fix all the problem. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe it's just something small and minute. Um, we never had this problem before, so we don't really know what to do as far as addressing it. Uh, but we'll see how it all ends up. I we start top five. I'm not 100% sure where we start. I think there's like 18 cars. I'll stop to start top five, so. Good qualifying effort, even though he nearly spun out every lap. So, that's where we are. Another eventful night at the racetrack, but would it be racing if it wasn't? We just haven't had a whole lot of time this year to really iron out any of our issues because we've only ran like three or four times with all the rain outs and everything. And then Smoky Mountain last week was a rain out. We only got to hot lap, so it's just, we just haven't been able to fix any issues. Um, so we'll see, hopefully we can get it fixed. If it's not fixed tonight, hopefully we can get it fixed next, this coming week and we'll be ready to be back here next Saturday for the um, okay, Steel Block Bandits, 7,500 to win. It is a like a topless type deal. Um, so we're hoping, 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 pray with us, they were able to make it back by that, but uh, we'll keep you updated of course. All right guys, so we went to put this tire on and it don't have a whole lot of stop. So I'm gonna stop it real quick and see if that'll help us because we need this tire to fire and we need this tire to fire quick. So we're gonna put some stops in it and uh, see if we can get it to do what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna turn on time lapse and let you guys watch for a minute.
think it made it a little bit better, easier to drive because he didn't about spin out every lab, uh, but he said the rack is junk. So I guess we'll be getting that off and getting that to RPI this weekend. Hopefully he can get that back to us by this weekend. Um, so we have a rack, because like I said earlier on in the video, we don't have a spare. So being able to salvage a six place finish was fantastic. Um, our main thing, like I said, I've said a thousand times in this video, we were testing tonight, testing on tires, testing on setup, shocks. That is the main reason we came down here. Uh, we could have went to North Georgia, but we came down here because we've had issue after issue after issue this year. And we get that cargo. I did one. Dylan did more won the super race. Uh, Lucas Burns and I can't remember the top three. Um, but anyway, so we just had issue after issue. So that's why we wanted to come down here and test. Carburetor's good. We're good. We got a brand new carburetor. It's running like it should. Uh, thanks to Nick at Stelt for fixing that for us and uh, getting us back on track with carburetor. Now we've got to fix the rack problem. We did get tires, so we're good on tires this next weekend. Now we've just got to get the rack fixed, and uh, hopefully that's the issue. We'll go through everything with a fine-tooth comb this weekend, see what it is. We did check uh, air pressures and all that when we got back, just to make sure where, where we needed to be there. We got a right front that is leaking. Um, it has already lost, it's lost two or three pounds from the feature, so got a right front that's leaking we know that but that's okay we've got new tires for next week so we'll get a word with the driver in just a second let me see if he's got a second i'm going to do the drop video all right you got your clothes on you gotta do some shit all right guys so we normally get a word with him after every hot lap heat race qualifying whatever but what i wasn't able to tonight because he's just been running uh, chasing us still trying to fix issues um, just like we've been all year but we'll get a word with him and uh talk how did the first of all how are you feeling are you exhausted I'm well, are you yes. needing a week of sleep now yeah do you feel like papa no i feel like noodles <laughs> <laughs> all right so we'll have run us uh, through from hot laps start on hot laps well we started in hot laps and uh uh you know everything was all right except for the steering i thought maybe we had a bolt loose or something somewhere in the car uh we checked everything and nothing was loose nothing nothing was out of place um we did change a little bit in the front end the last couple of weeks to try some things and uh, felt good at smoky mountain last week and so we came down here to try it tonight like i said earlier or the last video this was a test session for us uh, we uh but I think we've narrowed the front end issues down to a rack. I think we got a bad rack. The, I talked to Rick at RPI. He's the parts guy here at Taldega and he rebuilds racks. He's actually rebuilt that rack before. And uh, he seems to think we may be missing a tooth on one of the rack and, or the rack or the pinion. Um, so I guess, I guess we've either got to get that off, get it rebuilt or find another one. So, you know, we'll we'll figure that out next week. And uh, just running 30 laps with it, what it's doing is when you go sideways, and you try to catch the car. It's almost like you're driving a school bus to try to get it to catch. Then once it catches, you got to come all the way back. So uh, normally it's this. So uh, you know. You could tell. You could tell. Yeah, it just wasn't consistent. It was all over the track, and just trying to trying to salvage what we could do we was testing and i believe everybody in front of us was had a soft tire at least on the left rear and the right front um we was on hard tires all the way around because that's what we have to run next week with that uh that other series coming into town so we was testing tonight i said that in the last video i've said it 14 uh, times uh, we've never ran the harder tires all the way around the car since we went with these nlms so I wanted to try it. We run 30 laps on them and uh, we got some good notes. So uh, hopefully we can build on that next week when it pays 7,500 to win and, and we can be about five spots better than we was tonight. So uh, excited about getting that figured out and getting the rack situated. And, and uh, I wish the carburetor ran great. The carburetor didn't have any issues at all. Uh, I do think we got a little bit of a somewhat of a leak like on a fitting or something so we're going to take a look at that i don't know always something
Well, we've only ran. Uh, we've like only ran times. like three times, three or four times this year. So we're, we're, we're still trying to get the first of the season bugs out. Right. Um, and he took a hard lick last year, hit the wall, and we didn't have the rack rebuilt. And honestly, we were just so stretched thin on everything else and should have. But sometimes you just kind of have to do what Better you to do. find it this week than next week. So, yes. Uh, next week is it's the maintenance week. It's due for oil changes, uh, transmission fluid, motor oil. Uh, everything so we got to go through all the maintenance check all the nuts and bolts and then figure something out with a rack all right guys so you heard it from him we started fifth finished six with a rack that has took a poo poo on us um so that was a good salvageable finish there as much as he could anyway but we appreciate all of you guys watching we'll get this thing loaded up and get on the road back home Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to all of our partners, Works Speed Performance Parts, Barry Apparel Co., WJI Enterprises, Next Gen Services, Morsex Performance, Vin Vin Vinson Race Engines, Brand Transmission, Gorsuch Performance, All South Signs and Graphics, and BB Designs. I completely didn't thank All South and BB Designs the last video. I apologize for that. Um, but we're grateful you guys choose to watch us every week. Thanks to everybody that's walked up to us. Thank you to everybody that's bought merch. Um, you guys are incredible, and we simply can't thank you enough. So we'll get this thing loaded and get on the road back to Metallica. Hey, guys. We're back home. We are getting unloaded. It is 12.48 at night. Um, Obviously, it's at night because it's dark outside. Um, but we just got home, getting unloaded, getting everything squared away so that we don't have to worry with it tomorrow. More than likely, we'll wash on Monday with the weather coming in tomorrow, but I'm not 100% sure. Shop cat Georgiana there. We tried to wake Momo up. And, you know, she's just not having it, so we got her over here with her little pillow. And she's just relaxing, so. Yeah, that's where we're at. We'll get her unloaded and ready to go.